might have noticed my background is a little bit different. I just kind of hung a sheet up because, you know, my room is a mess. So I'm sitting up against the wall with a sheet and the mess is that way. So. My cat is walking in the room. Littles. Here he is. <laughs> hey Glammies, how are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing fantastic and having a wonderful, wonderful day and just changing the world around you. Um, today I kind of wanted to have more of a sit down talk with you because it's been a while since I've actually sat down and face to face talked with my camera and just said whatever was on my mind. Um, I think, you know, last week I didn't upload a video. I was just kind of going through some stuff. Um, I just was having like really bad like anxiety. I just could not bring myself to record. I didn't want to film and um, upload like a super, super depressing video and just be, you know, so I decided not to upload a video last week. Today, um, I decided that I was going to kind of scroll through my emails, my comments, anything that I get, and choose a topic that somebody sent in to me. So um, this was a topic that I got off of my email. I think her name is Dina. And um, she asked me to talk about what it feels like to be called fat. The first time I was called fat, I was in kindergarten. Since then, we've resolved the issue. We kind of became friends um, in high school and we've, um, you know, we're up to date in each other's lives. So I'm not gonna say his name. Turns and looks to me and says, is Elizabeth short for something? And I said, no, like, Elizabeth's not long enough, like, I thought it was a long name, you know, whatever. Um, but he was like, oh, well, I thought it would be short for Fatty Elizabeth. And that was the first time. And so that was my nickname for probably two months or better. As I got older, I was able to kind of brace myself for it. And now, like, over the last year, I mean, I haven't even had to, like, brace myself for it. I'm just, it rolls off my shoulders. I mean, look at me. You can tell from a mile away that I am a fat girl. Calling me fat doesn't tell me anything that I don't already know. It doesn't inform me of anything that I didn't know about my body. I would rather be called something that doesn't reflect my personality. Um, you know, I mean, you can't call me vindictive. You can't call me a liar. You can't call me a bitch. You can't call me this. You can't call me that because that's not who I am. That doesn't, that's not who my personality is. So I would rather be called fat than be called any of those things. I mean, at least you can't call me mean or rude or um, a bully. I mean, the person that calls me fat, you can call them a bully. The person that calls me fat, you can call them mean. But me, that's not, that's not a reflection of my characteristics. That's not a reflection of my personality. It's a reflection of your personality. So how do I react when people call me fat? I mean, basically the same way I'm reacting now where I just kind of roll it off my shoulders. Um, and I know that it's something that a lot of people struggle with and I don't know how to tell you not to struggle with it anymore. I don't know how to get your head around the concept of not holding a grudge for that. I mean, it took me years until I was in my last year of high school and I started realizing that it's okay to be different and it's okay to not fit in and it's okay to embrace your difference and different is beautiful. And until I realized that, I couldn't accept myself and I don't know how to get you to realize it but it's not the worst thing in the world like so you called me fat you know yeah hell yeah I'm fat like give me that slice of pizza but not really because I can't have tomato sauce so I don't know how to tell you to embrace it, that it has to be something that comes from inside yourself you have to be okay with yourself and you have to realize that there's a lot worse things out in the world to be than fat now I'm not saying that 
being unhealthy is okay. I in no way condone unhealthiness. Back in August, I lost my grandfather and I lost him to congestive heart failure. I started paying attention to my family more and I started paying attention to things that my family struggles with. And on both sides of my family, I have diabetes and kidney disease and heart failure and cancer and respiratory disease and just circulatory disease and arthritis and everything. And so in that sense, I don't have a good deck of cards. So for me, I want to work towards being healthy and I want to work towards not having to sit in a hospital room at 50 years old and have the doctor say, well, you are at risk for stroke or you're at risk for a heart attack or you your kidneys are shutting down or you have diabetes or this or that or the other. Like, I don't want to hear that ever in my life. Seeing my family struggle with that, seeing... Um, you know, my aunts and my uncles and my grandparents, just seeing what they're going through and seeing that health is what matters, I don't ever want to have to be in that room. And so if I can change anything or control anything, it's going to be my body. And so I want to work towards health. I want to work towards being healthy and feeling good and feeling alive and being able to enjoy life and enjoy this world that we're given. Never feel bad about being called fat. If you're healthy, that's what matters. I'm okay with being the fat friend, I'm okay with, you know, I mean, might as well put it on my resume and get hired as the fat chick. You know, I might get a job for that one day. In all seriousness, I want to remind you guys that it's okay to be you. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be big. It's okay to be small. It's okay to be thin. It's okay to be tall. It's okay to be short. Just, it's okay to be you. Keep your doctor in mind. Stay informed. Stay in contact with your doctor. If you notice anything that um, raises concern to you, go to your doctor. Talk to him. So, I mean, if somebody calls you fat, forget what they think. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Fat Girl's Diary rant. Um, I know that it was a little bit different and whatever, but you know, I just sat in front of my camera and filmed and I'm happy with it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and don't forget to change the world around you. All right, so I guess I will see you in the next video. Um, there will be a special video on Saturday this week because it was supposed to be last week, but we all know how good I am at sticking to a schedule. Holla at your girl on Twitter and Instagram and just be your snazzy selves. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!